We shall meet again, Dogen. It would be a shame for a long-awaited reunion to end so soon. I'll be waiting. <laughs> March 28th, 1.12 p.m. Prison Hallway. Now then, we still need to find the murder weapon. Mr. Edgeworth! Whoa, what is she doing? She went all the way up there? Didn't I tell her before not to climb that? It's fine now, Kay. Come down from there. Where is Mr. Shields? Beats me! He just took off running like death was after him. Good grief, that man. What should we do now, Mr. Edgeworth? We'll continue investigating. First, we should start by solving that one mystery. At least body was found in a workroom inside the prison. However, he was supposed to be in the detention center's holding cell. How did he get to the prison under such tight security? Let's go investigate the holding cell at the detention center. That was where Mr. Knightley was held, right? But what about Uncle Ray? Let's just leave him be for now. I thought we were supposed to be his assistants, though. Meh. The victim's cell in the detention center was this way. Let's check it out. Hmm? What happened? Another dead body? <laughs> hmm? What happened? Oh? It's the warden. Miss Roland. She must have come from behind the no entry sign. So he still won't talk? Even after all the trouble you went through to get the evidence transferred from the precinct? That's right. I, I don't know how many times I've tried. I can't report back empty handed. So that's sure is one tough cookie, huh? I don't get it! Do they think, uh... That one guy. Do they think it was Simon, or do they think it was, uh, Dogen? I'm confused. Did you just say assassin? Oh my. Pardon me, but were you talking about Sirhan Dogen just now? Oh, eavesdropping, were you? You naughty boy! Did you question him personally, Warden Roland? Not just him. I try to have a heart-to-heart -heart with all of the prisoners and suspects. In my home, we're all family here. It's only fair I invite them to my Warden's office. The Warden's office? Oh, have you taken an interest in my room as well? I have not taken an interest in anything related to you, thank you very much. It's just down this hallway, but outsiders are not allowed past this point. Down the hallway. So around there... <laughs> it's such a lovely room. People do so enjoy being invited back there. I will show them the splendid view of my precious courtyard. The courtyard is animal-filled prison. I'd sure love to see it. Well, okay. This keeps getting updated. Eventually, we're actually going to use it. I'm delighted that you want to see it. However, I can't invite you. What? You're not a child of our home. If you want to come to my room, you'll have to be convicted first. That's a rather high hurdle to clear. Goodness me, look at how long we've been talking. I was just about to feed Allie her lunch. Allie? She's my favorite little angel. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be off to the courtyard. Toodaloo! Okay, I'm... <laughs> Is that thing alive or not? Like, is that just a creepy, like, design choice on the part of the creators? They're like, well, it's not alive, and we're not going to draw attention to it. We're just going to make it part of the, the animations for her. Her sprite. Like, that's so weird. And distracting. Never got a chance to ask her about Dogen. Well, let's head over to Nightly Cell. All right, more investigation. Oh. 
This is the victim's cell. When did Mr. Knightley arrive in here again? It was after the president's welcoming ceremony, on the night of March 25th. I don't think we've ever been inside a... detention center cell before. Neat. There might be some evidence left that can answer that. Alright, let's get cracking, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh boy, investigating. I haven't done that in a while. And of course, they look right at me as soon as I start it. Alright, what's up, Kay? Want to say anything? There's so many things in this cell. Yes, although they don't all appear to be Knightley's personal belongings. There's also a collection of books that belong to this cell. Wow, this might not be such a bad place to live in after all! Well, it is where the people who haven't actually been convicted yet are placed, so it makes sense. And if you want to spend the night here, I won't stop. Thanks, but no thanks. But since we're here, might as well learn everything we can. Alright, let's begin our investigation. Spoken like a true attorney that's doing a detective's job. Chess. Chess seems to be popular here. Lately even brought in a chess set. No, from what I've seen, the only people who have an interest in chess are Knightley and that man, Sir Handogan. That man? Ah, you mean that scary guy with the dog. Indeed. Those two had a shared interest in chess. Is that just a coincidence? Maybe, maybe not. What do we have to present to you? Anything new? Uh, what are your thoughts on the dog? Ah, uh, just looking at him gives me the creeps. So there are things that you're scared of too, okay? Well, of course. The police, security guards, sirens, there's lots of things. Normally, those things give you a sense of security. <laughs> well, I'm not a normal girl. That's because... I'm the great thief, right? Mr. Edgeworth, please don't steal my lines. <laughs> that felt kind of nice. <laughs> uh, now you can see where she's coming from. Uh, da da da. Anything on this? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh huh. Hmm. Uh, anything on this? Wait, what is this? Mr. DeBesti and Warden Roland searched the entire prison but did not find the murder weapon. Huh. Is that because the murder weapon is the dog? Or is there something more to it? What are your thoughts? I've been thinking about it. Since we still haven't found the murder weapon... Maybe there wasn't one to begin with. Well, if the dog was the murder weapon, then I guess in a way there wasn't. Oh, that's an interesting way of thinking. Then how was the victim murdered? What are you talking about, Mr. Edgeworth? If there's no murder weapon, then no one actually died. Okay? I understand how you're feeling, but we must not avert our eyes from the reality before us. You're right. Mr. Knightley, he really is... Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Knightley really is Mr. Edgeworth? I don't think so. We're gonna have to rethink that hypothesis. We've gotta catch the guy who did this. Yeah, I don't think a good way of doing that is, uh... Pretending like nothing happened, though. That's probably not the best idea. Quick check over my organizer. Uh, okay. Sir and Dogen. Of course, all the old people have ages question mark. Like, what's up with that? Alright. Let's get to the investigating. What's up, guard? Good work. Ah, uh, yes, sir! It's fine, you don't have to keep an eye on this, okay? As you can see, we're the great thieves of justice. Huh? There's no we here, and don't worry, we're not actually thieves. Not right now, anyways. Wait, what? Now, if my was here, then you'd have to watch out. Uh, let's check some stuff. Hmm? The reflection in the mirror. It's a security camera. A great thief's 
arch enemy. I guess they don't take too kindly to thieves here. Um, it's prisoners. I think they just don't take too kindly to prisoners breaking out. There's no reason for a detention center to be kind to thieves. God! I would like you to check the footage of this security camera. If you find any problems, report to me at once. Understood, sir! Uh, and he's gone! Okay. At least now he won't be spying on us. Oh boy, I won't rest until I've stolen every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Uh, let's start with crossword puzzle or something? There's something on the desk! It seems to be some kind of memo. Let me take a closer look. Next move is. Oh! Chess! I think. Next move is bishop to g2. Next move, rook, no, pawn to gb? Wait, gb? g6. Oh, g6. I'm a derp. Deduce. Huh. Okay, so let's see. Alright, so we got white and black. A white rook and a white king. Three white pawns. Black rook is over here. White rook is over here. And then down here we got three black pawns. Black bishop, black king, and then we got this red circle. And apparently something in our evidence is going to uh, conflict with this? What would that be? Well, not necessarily conflict, but relate? Dogen carved a hound piece on a whim, played chess through the mail. Oh, and that's exactly what this is! Yeah! That's exactly what this is! So, let's deduce! I guess we just... A anywhere on the thing? Doesn't matter? Let's just deduce. I don't know if I have to click anywhere specific on this, but I'm just gonna assume it's the whole thing, basically. This chest notation. I've seen it before. 